What's going on everyone? My name is Mandeep. Welcome back to another amazing episode. Today we are joined by the listing agent of this beautiful property, Jamie Briggs. Hi everyone. Uh, today is a special episode because we are in Kelowna, BC. Kelowna is known for its vineyards, the Okanagan Lake and wine country. Jamie, can you tell us a little bit about the home? Absolutely, thanks Mandeep. We are so excited today. We are here at 6353 Renfrew Road, and actually we're in Peachland. It's a little district just south of Kelowna, and it's in between Kelowna and Penticton. So you've kind of got the best of both worlds here. You've got the airport, the city of Kelowna close by, yet you're in this little hidden gem, Peachland. So this home is fantastic. We have five bedrooms, six bathrooms, over 7,800 wow. square feet, and everybody comes to the Okanagan for outdoor entertaining and outdoor living. Yep. And this epic home has it all. Yep. So we can't wait for you to tour it. You will see it all, especially the outdoor living space. For sure, thank you so much for letting us tour your amazing list. Thank you. Now let's go check out the exterior of this house. Welcome to the inside of this beautiful home. The first thing that comes to my attention is that amazing view outside, out the back windows, which we'll check out in a second. Beneath, beneath my feet are these porcelain tiles, and then above my head are these very contemporary black LED lights. I think they've done an amazing job here. So down this way, we actually, this leads you into the mudroom and the garage, so let's check that out. Once again, we got the porcelain tiles here, and then we have this vanity to store whatever you would like. Slow stopping, of course, and beautiful choice of the countertop right here. And then on both sides of that, we have some storage. A nice little spot to put all of your shoes. Chad, could we get a close up of this right here? And Chad has a company out in Kelowna. It's called Pixel Pro. He is the videographer for today. Make sure you guys check him out. Thank All you. right, yeah, no problem. So follow me down this way. Uh, we got two bedrooms, which we're gonna check out in a second. Over here we have the mudroom, and then we got side-by-side -side Samsung uh, washing machine and a dryer. Of course, you gotta have the uh, storage up above and then these faucet right here as well. And then we got the subway tiles on the back. Excellent job in this room. There's so much room in here. This door leads into the garage. Let's check this out. This is without a doubt one of the nicest garages that I have ever seen. I'm walking on epoxy paint. They got the pebbles on here as well. We got so much light coming through these frosted glass doors. And then of course, as you can tell, this is stainless steel. So much space here, so much storage space for all of your tools, whatever you would want to store here, right? Just nicely open up just like that and here as well. And let's check this out as well. We got the central vacuum as well. And then another cool detail about this home is that they have hose bibs that give out cold and hot water. I've never seen that before. I think that's really cool. So let's check out the rest of the home. Follow me. All right, so down here we have one of the two or one of the three bedrooms on this main floor right here. And of course, they gotta have their own washroom, which we'll check out in a second. And over here, we got that amazing view of the Okanagan Lake. And a detail that I really like about this is, first of all, it's black on the inside, and it's the, the window lands right on the floor. So I believe this is about eight feet, eight or nine feet uh, windows. And then we also have the access to your very private balcony right over here. Let's go check out the closet. So we got a good size closet. These are 
solid wood doors and they've been stained a similar color to the engineer wood as well and the catchers at the top this is really cool detail they are actually magnets so over here we got a we have a washroom beautiful choice of the countertop which we saw in the um, laundry room and then a, a toilet and then also a good sized shower here I think they did an excellent job here all right let's go back into the main hallway and check out the rest of the home let's watch up behind me chad so similar sized room i think this one is a little bit bigger and of course you have that private balcony and same thing the windows land right onto the floor these are about nine feet i believe and we got high ceilings a good sized closet once again and then another washroom in here all right so let's go into the main hallway where we were before So this is the view that I was talking about. So you enter onto the enter into the house, you got the floating stairs which take you down to the other levels of the home and that amazing view of the Okanagan Lake. That is amazing. So that's why you got to pay the premium when you purchase this home. It's for that amazing view. One other cool room that they have on this floor is actually this uh, I guess this would be like your shoe room. I want to call it the mud room. But uh, this allows you to keep the front entrance neat and clean. You could put your coat, uh, coats in, or your jackets in there. You could put your shoes in there. All that good stuff. So follow me down this way. We have the master bedroom. Now imagine waking up in the morning to that amazing view. That is stunning. Amazing. Yeah. And right here, if I could turn on all these lights. So we have, this is where you would put your master bedroom, or sorry, your master bed, your California King, big enough to fit probably the biggest bed. And then over here, we got some uh, light sconces on both sides of that. And we got a little vanity over here. This is where you can store whatever you would like. Slow stopping, of course, and beautiful choice of the countertop once again. And down this way, we have the master closet. Let's check this out. So ton of room to store all of your clothes, even has an island in here. I think they did an excellent job. You know they spent a lot of money when you don't see any drywall at all. It's backing right here as well. So you got the open shelves for your shoes if you wanted. You got some hangers and then some drawers here as well. Okay, so let's go into the master ensuite. This feels more like a spa. We got so much stuff going on here. Let's check this out first. This is without a doubt. Uh, the builder put this soaker tub here for one reason and that's to take advantage of that amazing view. You have, uh, it feels like there's no neighbors here at all. You got endless views of the Okanagan Lake. Down that way is uh, Penticton and up that way we have Kelowna. And then hanging above this beautiful soaker tub is this very contemporary light fixture. Uh, black, I love black lights. I think they look amazing in these modern homes. And uh, down this way we have one of the two vanities and I think they did an excellent job here. I noticed the attention to detail. Usually the drawer right under the sink is wasted space and the builder doesn't really do anything with it, but they've done this cool cutout. I don't know if you get that on camera. There's nothing here. This is where the sink is. And then it just opens up with uh, space on both sides. That's amazing and a nice big mirror which lands right onto your countertop. And down here we have the second vanity and similar design we got right here. Slow stomping of course and then of course the shower. I'm just going to get in here and show you how big this thing is. You can have multiple people in here. Um, you got body jets, you got a shower seat as well. You got the window or sorry, the niche right there to hold any shampoo bottles and then a massive shower head up above as well. This is a steam shower. No, this is not a steam shower, but it looks amazing. And then we got, we have over here, one of the three, I think motorized toilets which just automatically lift open just like that. That's amazing. All right. Yeah. So let's go check out, actually there's a balcony right behind you, Chad. I'm just gonna pop this open. I don't know how to open this. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay. So, I mean, it's hard to describe this view. Look at that. It's amazing. So this is your private balcony. 
You have cedar soffits up above. All of the balconies, all of the rooms have built-in speakers. We got some black pot lights here as well. And then just a nice area to relax before you go to bed at night. All right, so follow me back into the home. So I'm walking on these amazing stairs. These are floating. They're held up with a metal stringer. On my left side, we have the 10 millimeter glass and the stainless steel handle right here. This looks amazing. Follow me down this way. We have the powder uh, room right here. We got an amazing choice of the countertop right here. I have not seen anything like this where the faucet is integrated into the sink itself. That looks amazing. And then of course you gotta have the slow stopping cabinetry right here, just like that. And then in here we have uh, the toilet room and then also uh, the urinal as well. Let's get a shot of that. Watch. Yeah, isn't that amazing? That's pretty cool. Yeah, so follow me down this way. We have another room here. I guess this could be used as a flex room or a TV room, whatever you would want. I would personally use this as an office. I would put my desk right here and then just enjoy that amazing view. Let's go back into the hallway. And like I said before, in this entire house, they have built-in speakers. We have behind me, this is the fourth master bedroom. So every single one of the bedrooms in this home is a master bedroom. And that is because they all have their own closet and their own washroom as well. And pretty much their own view of that uh, amazing Okanagan Lake. Over here we have, once again, a gigantic shower with two rainfall, rainfall uh, heads right here. And then you gotta have, of course, the hand shower as well. Just conveniently pop that open and clean the shower if you wanted to. And if you got a dog, this is a great place to give your dog a bath. <laughs> and then over here, we got the soaker tub. And down this way, we have two vanities, one on this side, one on that side. And then behind me, we have another one of those automated uh, toilets. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's go back into the hallway and check out that amazing kitchen. So over here we have the wine display or the wine room, temperature controlled. This has a maximum capacity of 700 bottles. The person that's going to own this home is definitely without a doubt going to be a wine enthusiast. And this is the perfect place to store all of those bottles that uh, Okanagan has to offer. Down this way we have these accordion doors which seamlessly open up to create this indoor outdoor feel. And then right beside this amazing area, we have probably one of the biggest kitchens that I've ever seen. We got this nice overhang that wraps all the way around. You could get probably 20 people just on this overhang right here. Fitted at the center of this kitchen is this gas burn, uh, this gas melee uh, range. It's a six burner. And then above it, we have this range vent floating, uh, uniquely, very distinctly designed. I've never seen anything like this. And then another key detail is that we have two-tone uh, cabinetry. We got this color, and then we also have this color over here as well. This is a PVC material, and this is a wood material. I believe this is wood veneer. And then also we got two different slabs. We have this one right here, which is a little bit of a more dramatic look. And this one, excellent choice once again. Follow me down this way. All of the appliances in this home are Miele. This is the cappuccino beverage center right here. And of course, you gotta have the Miele fridge. I believe one is here. And then we got another one right over here as well. Yep, this is the freezer, that's the fridge. Very sleek, very stylish, very modern cabinets. I like the design a lot. And one of the cool things about these is that they all are like this. So you just conveniently pop them open just like that. Slow stopping and then just shut them just like that. So let's go around here. We'll check this out in a second. There's actually a hidden butler's pantry right behind this kitchen. And over here, once again, completely equipped with everything you would need. You got the sink, you got floating shelves, you got a fridge right there as well. And then of course, you gotta have the dishwasher too. Let's exit down this way, Chad. And then over here we have the uh, dining area. This is massive. 
if I was the owner of this home, what I would do is I would put a massive table just like this and have it uh, be able to hold or seat at 20 plus people because the person that's gonna own this home is definitely going to be an entertainer. And hanging above your dining table would be these very modern contemporary lights. And I watch a lot of home tours from LA and these are what we see in LA homes. I see these exact lights there. I know that the builder spent a ton of money on these lights. The lights are hanging from the open beam concept, which we're gonna see a lot of in the house. We're gonna see that in the living room as well. And adjacent to your dining table, we have this massive fireplace right here. This is a linear Napoleon gas fireplace. I think that looks amazing and they've finished it very well. You got the same stain as we saw from the kitchen. This is a wood veneer, I believe it is. And the vent is right up top over there. And then they have a really great design with the light sconces as well. I think that this is a great way to divide two big rooms and that's exactly what they've done. So it creates a little bit of a separation. Over here we have a gigantic room. What I would personally do in this room is I would have one area dedicated for maybe the TV section right here and then maybe a completely different area over here to just take advantage of this amazing view. And one of the cool details about this room right here is that if you ever do get tired of the sun here in uh, Kelowna, you have motorized shades on the exterior of the home which conveniently drop down and provide a little bit of shade. And obviously, as you can see, we got the open beam concept once again. And then these are very modern light sconces on these beams right here. Okay, follow me down this way to the balcony. Once again, I'm standing in the kitchen which easily allows you into your balcony. Uh, one of the coolest things about this backyard, apart from that amazing view of the Okanagan Lake, is this backyard right here. Uh, we have so many different areas to hang out and we're gonna start off by checking this one out over here. We got a little bit of a dining table set up. You can have your lunch, breakfast, or your dinner here if you wanted to eat outside. Follow me down this way. We have so many TVs installed in all parts of this house. We have this one right over here. And then we have another one down here, which we're gonna check out in a second. And over here, this is more of a little bit of a private area. Maybe the person that's uh, in this bedroom over here, the fourth master bedroom, is gonna use this area. No, it's, it's whatever the imagination of the buyer, whatever they wanna use this area for. So down this way, we're gonna check out the pool and the built-in kitchen as well. This property looks amazing at nighttime. I wish we could have shown you guys at night, but uh, still, this is amazing over here. So we got this built-in kitchen or outdoor kitchen and is fully equipped with a Napoleon barbecue right here. We got some storage right down here as well. And then not one, but two bar fridges, one on this side and one on this side. And of course you gotta have your faucet and your sink right over here. And then this, I believe it's 70 inches, uh, a TV right out here, uh, outside here as well. If I was hanging out in this area, I would post up right here. I would have my bar stools and I would put on some sports right here. So over here we have another seating area. Now this is finished in Caesar stone. If you know anything about countertops, you know Caesar stone is at the very, very high end. I think that's amazing. Down there we have another area to lounge out and there are actually some built-in speakers, very powerful speakers, just on the other side of that um, area over there. Back here we have a fire table right here and we have these amazing built-in uh, umbrellas to give you a little bit of a shade here as well. So as you can see over here we have the, this amazing pool and we got the shallow side and the deep side as well. Um, it looks amazing. So all of these lights light up this property at nighttime. It looks amazing at night. And over in this corner over here, we have the tiled hot tub. Um, overall, just an amazing area to hang out. And this kind of gives you that illusion of the infinity and pool. I don't know, Chad, could you bring it down just a little bit and then check that out? There you go, you could be in here and it feels like you're right in the lake pretty much. Once again, you got 180 degree uh, views of the Okanagan Lake. Uh, down that way is Penticton and down this way we have Kelowna. And there is one more thing that I wanna show you guys, just follow me down this way.
Once again, these are built-in umbrellas to provide you shade. And then over here, after you're done in the pool or the hot tub, you can uh, conveniently take a nice little shower right here. We got the floating shelves on the back over here and then we got some storage space down here as well and one of the coolest things about this room is these led lights that they have integrated into the wall i think that looks amazing and over at the front of the room we have your pre-installed massive uh, screen and then obviously you got to have the 4k projector one of the coolest things about this room another cool thing actually is that this looks like um, a projector that's on the other side. It's not hanging from the ceiling. It's kind of like those old style movie cinemas that you saw uh, back in the day. I think that's an awesome design over here. And at the front of the room, we have two big subwoofers and then built-in speakers, of course, as well. I'm just gonna see what it would look like if all the lights are shut off in here. If I could get it open. No, I can't. Oh, there you go. So I would watch the movie like this. I would keep these LED lights on. I would have my couch right here, obviously facing that area right there. I think that this looks amazing. Perfect place to uh, watch all of your favorite movies. So follow me down this way. This way we have the gym. Once again, two doors to allow you into this area. These are glass doors and the gym mats have already been installed for you. You don't have to do anything. All you gotta do is buy some weights. You got a massive, I think this is a 65 or a 70 inch TV at the front of the room. We already have the mirrors installed as well. And this area is pretty cool, which we're gonna check out in a second. Um, over here we have the bar fridge. You can store all of your protein shakes. You got the vanity right here and the faucet as well. And of course you gotta have some space to store anything down there. Slow stopping of course. And then over here you got some floating shelves once again. Once again, excellent job. And once again, they do have the built-in speakers up top as well. So let's go check out the rest of this area over here. And I just wanted to mention that the entire home is controlled by a system called Savant, and you can control, I believe, the lights, uh, the speakers, a whole bunch of that stuff. Follow me down this way. And this is what I would call the brains of the house. We got radiant uh, heating. So these are the, the red pipes that you see right here. We got the central vacuum, which is over here. And then probably one of the biggest uh, uh, boiler tanks that I've seen. That's amazing. And over here we have the 4K projector that we were looking at from the other side. And then your receiver right here for the home theater system as well. So once you're done working out in your home gym, you come into this area and you take a shower in this shower right here once again nice and big you got the hand shower right here and then you got a little bit of a niche to store all of your shampoo bottles and all that good stuff nice big area here once again and then on this side beautiful choice of the countertop and then very nice sink as well and faucet and then i like this design concept right here where you have that little open space maybe you store some towels or something like that okay so down this way, we have another flex room. Uh, you can use this for whatever you like. I guess maybe an office or something like that, or like the realtors were saying, put your teenage kids in here. Over here, we got this area for a nice big boat. You can park cars here, whatever you would want. And uh, down this way, we actually have a bunker, which is pretty big, actually. So I'm not gonna go in there, but I'm just gonna Oh, they kind of they locked it. It's a massive room. This is where you would put all your kayaks, um, all the summer supplies that you have. So down behind Chad on this side, we have another garage. All right, let's go in here. So this is a four car garage and three garage doors. This is one of them. And of course, as you can see, this would be the tandem side. And then this is a side by side over here. And once again, even in the garage, they have finished it 
the way they finished it on the front of the house with this nice finishing over here. I believe this is hardy board. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it looks amazing. That was one of the most epic homes that I've ever seen. That was a stunning view of Okanagan Lake. I had a great time viewing this property. Thank you once again to Jamie Briggs for letting us tour her amazing listing. Please like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next video.